Bar events are essential to the life cycle of any CBOT. In this video, we will demonstrate the key types of bar events and discuss the handlers for these events exposed by the CTrader API. The term bar refers to different types of objects that are sequentially drawn on the trading chart by CTrader. It could be candlesticks, Renko bricks, range bars, or even Heiken Anshi candles. Bar events occur when a new bar starts to be plotted on the trading chart to which a CBOT is attached. The bar opened event occurs for the new bar that has just started to be drawn on the chart. Let's create a new CBOT. To handle the bar opened event, the CTrader API exposes the onBar method. We will add it to the code template and delete all other methods. The body of the onBar method will contain all our trading logic. The CBOT is supposed to be launched on charts with the D1 timeframe. On every bar, it compares the open price difference with the previous bar open price and places a new order in a suitable direction. If the price difference is insignificant, the bot instead closes all currently open positions. Let's build our bot and backtest it. After backtesting concludes, the results seem to be encouraging. When a new bar just opens, it effectively lacks any price data apart from its open price. In many cases, you may want your CBOT to access data from the previous bar too, so that your strategy is executed smoothly. This is why the bar closed event occurs for the bar that has just closed, in other words, the one immediately prior to the new bar, and allows you to easily use its price and volume data. Let's create a simple CBOT that handles the bar closed event using the on bar closed method exposed by the API. In the code template, we delete all other methods and add the on bar closed method. The CBOT will detect a bullish hammer pattern by evaluating the length of the bottom wick of a candle. If a hammer pattern is detected, all previously open positions are closed and a new buy order is placed with a 50 pip stop loss. After we build the bot, we proceed to back testing. Again, the results seem to be very promising. When handling the bar opened and bar closed events, you can also use a slightly different syntax by assigning these events with custom handlers. While onBar and onBar closed are only triggered once, you can assign as many custom handlers as you want, which allows for adding complex logic. We will create a CBOT that assigns two custom handlers for the bar opened event to react to possible bullish and bearish reversals. Note that the handles have to be assigned in the onStart method. For the bar closed event, handlers must take an argument of the bar closed event args type. For the bar opened event, handlers must take an argument of the bar opened event args type. The bot checks if the open price of the newly opened bar is higher than the close prices of two preceding bars. If this is the case, a buy order is placed. 
If the open price is lower than the close prices of two preceding bars, a sell order is placed. The use of two separate event handlers allows us to separate our trading logic into smaller components, which we can easily modify later if needed. We will replace our previously declared handlers with the ones we have just defined. After we build our bot, we can again run a backtest. Look at that, another set of good results. By learning how to properly handle bar events, you can make your CBOTs do exactly what you want them to do, and you want them to do it. To learn more about using and developing CBOTs, feel free to watch our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we publish a new video.